<laughs> I'm very sleepy right now. I'm an idiot for filming at this time because that's I always get sleepy around 10 and then like at 2 I'm just like wired. <laughs> um hi. Hello. I feel like it's been so long since I've filmed one of these. It's like I I like the end product of doing these, but in all honesty the the act of doing them, like I don't like, it's it's weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, that's most of my life, but it's like there's an unpleasant air to it. Cause it's like I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm just in my room talking to myself, but with a witness. It's like you're still witnessing it. Oh, that hurts. That, uh... Uh, that's from pro that's from punching him properly. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> just hurt, just hurts different. Oh my god, my god, well, her hair is different. <laughs> <laughs> if you have not figured out yet. My hair is not real. I mean, that's fair because it's kind of unusual for someone to have a wig on their head. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is fake. I got a new wig. This is it. Hi. So if you see me sometimes, you know, I have different hairs for different occasions. <laughs> so I have my workout hair. And I have my now new everyday hair, and then I have my, I just uh, feel like switching it up hair. Like, in a few videos back, I was blonde for a bit to match me and Andy, because we were being twins. So, if you were wondering how I do that, other than being a wizard, because I am in fact a wizard, um, I also wear wigs. <laughs> um, yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm addressing it too is just because this is new. Um, and I feel like some people that, you know, I see on a regular basis that don't know me like that well will be like, why you, why your hair keeps switching? Why, why is that happening? The answer is you're losing your mind. It's not me, it's you. Walt has a seasonal cold right now. <laughs> <coughs> it's not even bad, it's just like, it's just right back here. <coughs> My shithead friend, Jess, who you guys met, said, I didn't think you could get more nasally. But I was wrong. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a great lady. God bless. The reason I wear wigs is because I have alopecia. If you don't know what that is, Google it. I'm not a fucking teacher. There's the internet for a reason. All right, okay, hi. So what am I doing this week? Honestly, the feeling of new wig her is like, it's, it's like sex. It's kinda like sex to me. It's just so luxurious and Oh, silky. Oh, oh, that's in my armpit. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she has alopecia. <laughs> Maybe she bought it online. What am I talking about? This week, I am. This week, I'm transforming a garment. What? So instead of just making it from scratch, um, I, <clears throat> oh my god. I bought this uh, t-shirt, this long t-shirt. I thought it was gonna be a t-shirt dress, but I should have gotten a medium. Um, I got a small, so I got this t-shirt dress and it was very tight. Um, <clears throat> it's like one thing after the other. I'm a 
gross human being. Um, we got new neighbors and I'm just like, if their window's open right now, they can probably totally hear me because my window's open. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> to listen to your kids all day, so. <laughs> so I got this t-shirt dress, and although I liked it, it was um, too short to be an actual dress, and for the length it was, it was like just awkward to wear it as only a t-shirt. Um, it's ball, so I need fall colored hair, hi. Hi. So I had the idea to turn it into a crop top and a skirt. Um, there's different things you could do with it, but that was my idea. <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna do. And yeah, we'll see what happens. I hope this, uh, this is a good experience for you. It was for me. It's also just like a much shorter, um, it's, all <laughs> it's also a much shorter video because like I don't have to make everything from scratch. I'm just kind of cutting some stuff and hemming it. And it's like a simple way to transform a garment. <laughs> um, just a little disclaimer, maybe a warning on um, this shirt is very tight and form-fitting <laughs> and there may be some things that you might get offended by <laughs> my nipples <laughs> but uh you can suck it <laughs> bye oh god <coughs> so as you can see the shirt is definitely too short to be a dress while I had it on, I used a pin to mark the height I wanted it to lay at and folded the shirt up a little as a pretend hem so I would have an even better idea of where to cut the garment. I tried to sort of follow a straight line across my torso with a pin line, but that didn't fully work out. I used the pins to give myself a distance down to measure so that I can cut in a straight line I found that 7 inches was what I wanted. I used my measuring tape to create a straight line across and made an actually accurate pin line this time, and then I cut across. This fabric is a rayon cotton something or other, so I can use my rotary cutter without fraying fear. After cutting, I tried the articles on again, and the shirt was definitely the length I wanted. The skirt, however, is pretty damn short still, so I'm going to add some black fabric along the bottom to make it a little longer. At least long enough to cover my pubis. I'm also going to add a waistband to the bottom of the skirt so that it won't fall down while I wear it. I wrapped the elastic around my waist and marked where it felt comfortably tight with a pin. I started by hemming the bottom of the shirt. I decided on a 3 quarter inch hem. Pin that bitch in place and then sew it up. I also realized that it was way, way more work adding a waistband and black material to the bottom of the skirt, so I decided I'm going to add black material to the waistline of the skirt and greatly improve the quality of my life. I wanted the height of the black band to be 5 inches, so I'm making it 10 inches wide so I can fold it in half. I also measured the current waistline of the skirt and it is 28 inches. I took off an inch so that things would be tight and would stay up. Therefore, the piece of black material that I'm cutting out is 10 inches by 27 inches. I also am not adding extra length for a seam allowance for this part because I feel like doing some ghetto fabulous sewing right meow. Find the center of the back of your skirt mark it with a pin and start pinning your waistband to your garment. Pin it so that the right sides of both pieces are together and that the bottom of your waistline is in line with the top of the skirt. Also, don't line the very edge of your waistband with the center of the back of your skirt. Leave a little bit extra for the seam allowance. After pinning the waist all the way around, pin the pieces together at the back. I am going to sew around the circumference of the skirt and then sew the edges of the waistband together. Because again, we ghetto, and I never trust myself to have the right length for my waistband. Okay, all right. Yes, 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 yes. I did it. I messed up. As I was pinning the waistband in place, I was tugging on the waistband a lot to make sure it would fit around the circumference of the skirt. I tugged a little too much though and made it far too tight. I also found that the waistband was too wide, aka it went up too high on my waist. It sort of looked like it was like a maternity skirt or something. 
I'm going to cut the width of the waist by half and when I repin, I'm going to tug much, much less on the waistband so that everything will fit much more scrumptiously. The last annoyance I found was that I sewed the hem sort of improperly. I placed my foot in line with the bottom of the hem of the shirt when really I should have had it in line with the folded material on the inside of the shirt. Basically because there was so much folded material underneath, it kept rolling under and looking crappy. So I'm going to stitch rip it and sew it properly. And holy shirt buds, that's tit, I mean it. <laughs> Did cha know that you can mix and match these fun little, and I do mean little, garments with all sorts of different styles of outfits? Go for a casual hippie look by switching up the shirt, or be that cool relaxed girl wearing relaxed denim over your relaxed body. Add some jeans to the look to make it a hip Canadian tuxedo. Too much denim. Not enough denim. Or if you're looking to get that popping, throw on some cut off shorts and get a little slotty with it. Why not unnecessarily wear it over a dress? Or maybe pair it with another garment that you crafted with your next level wizard skills. If you get cold, you can pointlessly wear a dress over top of it or wear it for a fitness look that screams to the world, hey, I'm a psychopath. Do you ever wish you could dress like the savage you are in your heart? Make sure that your date asks you to leave immediately when you show up for a Netflix and chill hangout. And finally, you can easily hide this ensemble under a large jacket so that it can feel like you're actually wearing... Nothing at all, nothing at all, nothing at all. Oh, I'm just so very popular. <laughs> I'm checking them, but I don't feel like responding to anything right now. Here's the thing. I don't feel like doing anything right now. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do fun things. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm such a brat right now. <laughs> I've been so attracted to someone, it hurts you physically. ay 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 yeah. So much of my lipstick. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Shut up. How was that for y'all? Did you like the shorter video for once? I liked how quick a project it was because guess what? I've been fucking around a lot this week and I also had a sick weekend, so I didn't really leave myself a lot of time for things. Plus, you know what? Like, I just am gonna do whatever I want whenever. So if this, these videos go up every week, like, cool. But they also might not because <laughs> I'ma do what I want when I won't. It's like 10.30, bring your dog inside. So yeah, that is one way you can transform a garment. Um, like I said, there are others. If you all like this different kind of video, let me know. <laughs> let me know. I will do more of them. Shut up. Um, I do like them because they are easier and quicker to do. <laughs> um, shut the fuck up. Honestly, dog, shut up. It's not even the dog's fault. It's the owner's. It's like train your dog better and if they're being dicks outside just bring them into your house if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'm putting a lot of effort into what I'm saying with my hands and it's very exciting I can tell if you like this new hair color, let me know. Comment, say, I like the new hair color, Julie. Can I rub oil on your bald head? <laughs> the answer is always yes. Next week, I got some basic bitch stuff happening with my good friend. She is my friend and she is also my mother. Not biologically, but spiritually. So stay tuned and get excited for that. And 
you know, I, I wish you well. I hope everyone has a good weekend. I'm going to eat my body weight in chocolate after running for a good cause. Not that I'm a good person. I just tag along to group events. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs>